Wait, where's my desk? You've been gone without leave for two weeks. You've been fired. <laughs> what? Oh, we threw out all of your stuff too. <laughs> what? What? You threw it all out? The important documents that the CEO wanted me to handle as well? Huh? Documents? The documents regarding the one million deal! Trouble Busters! Good morning! Morning, Alan! My name is Alan. I work at an advertisement company as a salesman. A lot of advertisement companies mostly have highly educated people. That's how popular it is to work this job. However, I'm a high school dropout. My co-workers don't care, though. They treat me as a regular teammate, excluding one person. Good morning, boss! Hey, Samuel, I know you just came in, but <sighs> I don't have time to look at your stupid proposal. I can't be using that crap when it's just dropout quality. This kind of harassment is just a regular, everyday thing. It really does stress me out, but there's a reason I'm able to be happy anyway. I'm home! Welcome home. Great job today. <laughs> what did you do today? <laughs> it's making lists for honeymoon locations. Oh, show me! Wow, enjoy Parkland for a week? Very wide, and it'll definitely take a week to finish looking through everything. <laughs> you really like theme parks, huh? Amusement parks can't be beat. Are you able to take off for the honeymoon? Of course. I'm working so hard now to make sure I don't have to worry about it later on. How are things going? The presentation for the one million dollar deal. Oh, the one with the CEO himself. I'm preparing the perfect flawless documents. I'm going to finish them off before the vacation comes up. Perfect, Mr. Allen. Then we will all be able to have a lot of fun during the vacation without worrying about any work. Yeah, my life at home was perfect. I had a lovely life. Okay, sir, I'm going to be taking off for a while, but these are the documents for the presentation. What presentation? There's a large confidential business meeting, so should I lock it up somewhere? Just leave it in your desk and lock it up. I'll just lock it in my desk then. You don't have to come back. That's how I went on my honeymoon for two weeks with my wife. Huh? Where's my desk? You can't come in here. You have to be an employee. Sir, my desk is missing. And what are you talking about? You weren't here for two weeks. You're gonna get fired. That's pretty normal, I think. Wait, what are you- Your shit was getting in the way, so we threw it all away. Threw it away? The documents too? Yeah. What? What? Are you serious? You're serious. You're not kidding. You're pranking me. Sorry. This is reality, buddy. <laughs> uh, how could you? <laughs> it's too late now. This is basically tradition. A dropout getting fired because they didn't come into work. I don't care. The documents in the desk. Those are literally documents from the CEO himself. The CEO? Documents? The one million deal today! The documents involving that deal were in my desk! Oh... Did you forget I told you? Or forget what? I know you just remembered. I can tell. I said where should I hide my documents and you said lock it in my desk. I, I didn't hear about that. You must be mistaking it. You better do something fast to find those documents in a hurry. That's literally what you should say about yourself. You didn't take it back to your house or anything? I would never take confidential documents back to my house. Besides, do you even know what the material is within the documents? Oh, yeah, the stuff that's uh, super simple. Of course not. It's something that's budgeted for well over one mil. It's a huge project. The CEO himself is so excited about this. What? Seriously, you really screwed the pooch on this one. You're the one that did this. I told you about this. I didn't hear anything. Even before Alan went on vacation, I remember hearing him tell you about where he put the documents. What? Yeah, me too. I heard him. He said, where did you want him to put the documents? And you said to put them away in the desk. I heard it. B guys. Damn it. It was about to go well. What the hell is wrong with these guys? Whatever. I want you all to answer me this. What is communication? Both of the parties have to understand what's going on before it becomes a conversation. If you don't tell me in a way that I understand, it doesn't count as a conversation. But literally everyone other than you understands exactly what he said and what happened. Which means it's your problem with interpreting and not how he explained. It. Uh, shut up! That was not the time! Exactly! The clients are coming in two hours! No, no way! You're the one that decided on the date of the presentation! What? <sighs> Whatever, we just have to remake the presentations! Alan, you make it within two hours! I'm fired, remember? I'm definitely not gonna help! You're the one that fired him, so you should make the documents! Yeah, you little... You'll regret this! Uh, I'm so busy! Wow, that sucks. The PC is going to take 10 minutes to restart! Ah, I need every second! This is totally karma. Oh, crap, my stomach hurts. Uh, Alan, you figure this crap out! No, you're a shit person and useless! That's why you're fired! No, you're the shithead! Can't do anything unless the PC starts up. True. Uh... Oh, I'm 
finally feeling better. Uh, how's the update? It's actually gotten longer. What? How is it getting longer? I don't know. Ask the computer company. But damn it! We need every second! What are we going to do if we don't get this one million deal? If it's me, I'll get demoted. No, I'll just be a regular employee for the rest of my life! I think you might even get fired, adios baby. No, that's not going to happen! I swear it won't! I got it! Trash! Are you talking about yourself? Who are you calling trash? No, the garbage truck! Did they leave? I don't know. Ah, uh, you're all useless! Whatever, I'll go look! <sighs> the desk! Where's the desk? <laughs> there it is! His desk! You! Car! Wait! Hang on! Oh, I was so close! It was right there! I couldn't catch it in time! Who are you talking to? Are you just talking to yourself? <laughs> Uh, hey, did the PC boot up? Nope. Oh, uh, what the hell? This is some sort of nightmare. Today is such an important day. What? Why are you here, sir? You know, I was just so ready and excited. I came by extra early to check and see to make sure it's ready and everything is good to go, you know? I didn't realize that you have deals that you're excited for. I mean, it's one mil. It's a huge project and our name is going to be on it. Oh, he's so excited. What do I do? What do I do? Is the sales department rowdy right now? Imagine if the documents aren't ready. <laughs> oh, damn it, Alan! You go stop him! Buy some time! I'm not an employee anymore. I'm just gonna tell him that I'm thankful for my time here and leave. Oh, you're useless even after you're fired! First, I need to figure out what to do right now. What do I do? Think about it! Oh, that's the only thing I can do! It's time, Sean. I'm going to make this presentation succeed. I'm glad to hear it. Can you show me the documents that you're going to use for the presentation? Oh, uh, the documents for the presentation. Uh, those documents. Uh, uh, well, uh, here they are. Bring them. Uh, yes, sir. This is it. Oh, crap. The documents flew out the window. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I bumped into him and dropped the documents out the window. Oh, no. I don't think we can recover that. Uh, sir, we need to postpone the meeting. I will do everything I can to make sure they agree to it. I'm so sorry, sir. That tree is way too big. I don't think we could reach it with a ladder. What do we do? Uh, don't worry, sir. I'll make sure to postpone the meeting. Hmm. <laughs> this is perfect. I just buy more time and make Alan make the documents and the day is saved. Sir, don't worry. Huh? About what? Alan, shut your face! Our company has an employee named Steven, who's an excellent tree climber. How about we ask him to get the documents? Oh my, that's great news. That's horrible news! Let me go get him. <laughs> She's completely screwing with the boss. What a mastermind. Huh? That's very important, right? I'm good at climbing trees, so just leave it to me. Are you sure? It's quite far up. Don't worry, sir. I grew up in the country. <laughs> th 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 that's so nice of you. Our company is full of versatile employees, aren't they, boss? Indeed. Okay then, Steven. Go get them for me. Yes, sir. No, no! Don't get them! Ah, he's almost there. He's just climbing up like it's nothing. How incredible. Right, Sean? Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, fall! Uh. Oh, wind! Huh? No, I mean, uh, no! We were so close to recovering the documents for the one million deal presentation. We really need to give up now. I will pour my heart and soul into making sure they're okay with postponing the meeting. But those documents have confidential information that we cannot leak to the public. We cannot leave it like this. Do not worry, sir. I will take full responsibility and find them all. I'm going to find them and throw them into the sewers. Come on, everyone. We've got work to do. Leave this to me and go back to the office. But Sean... Don't be like that, sir. It's times like this where you have to count on your co-workers. We have to help each other out. I'll help right now. Helen, you little... Me too, sir. I won't let you go through all of this alone. We have to help each other. If Helen is gonna look for it, I have to look for it too. Really? I'm sorry, guys. You guys need to seriously stop! Let's all look together. Whoa! I don't want them to look for it. Just leave it alone! Read the room, you little shitheads! Hmm? What's this? Oh, th that's... What the hell? Why? Thank you, young lady. Those are very important to us. I see, then here you go. Thanks. No! What's going on? These are just blank papers. <laughs> Shit! Oh, oh, what did you say? Oh, that child must have swapped it out. It's just a child fooling around. That little brat. Sir, I will take full responsibility to postpone the meeting. Sean, were the documents ready? Well, 
You're acting way too suspicious today, Sean. Someone explain to me what is going on. I see. You. You're the one that made the documents. Tell me. Sir, I was on my honeymoon and I left the documents in Mr. Sean's hands when he threw out my desk along with the documents I kept in there. What? Alan! I explained everything that happened to the CEO. What are you talking about? Away without leave? You were off because you were on your honeymoon. I'm sure you put in a formal request for leave. Of course, sir. Well, he did technically request the leave, but I have never seen the submission, so I don't have any recollection of approving it. I think it's his fault for leaving without actually seeing the submission being approved. Even if that was someone with the right logic, why would you throw away my whole desk? The documents were in the desk. Why would you throw it all away? A person who left the company for two weeks without leave or any prior notice is going to be fired. The desk simply had to go because you were dirty. I thought that I could get a new cleaner desk. If I hire a new person, I want that person to have a new one. And you should use the documents box that we all share in the sales department if it's important. You can't just leave to go on vacation in your own desk. That's not what we're talking about. What I want to say is, whatever the case, you're just some high school dropout that can't even get his work done right. And you just take off without permission? You're going to lose your job. You're only outspoken when you want to complain. You realize that this whole deal and meeting was set up in the first place because of his hard work, right? Right? <laughs> and he has the audacity to sit over there and say he's useless. Then how useful do you think you are? <laughs> Alan is definitely smarter than some dumbass that throws out a whole desk with the million dollar deal document. I mean, I did say that I would be leaving the documents at my desk. The only person in the office that doesn't seem to know about it is you. <sighs> You're just working off your stereotype that dropouts can't work. After you start working, all that matters is how well you adapt, not your history. He really was judgmental about the dropouts thing. Whatever the case, you were the one that destroyed the documents, so you take responsibility for them. Responsibility? You're trying to get me to make the presentation? You helped make the presentation documents, so you should have a basic understanding of it, right? The documents can't be helped now. I want you to get us that million dollar deal. <laughs> uh, Alan, you don't have to quit right away. Uh, let's do the presentation before you leave. Let's do the presentation, huh? You're the one that fired me. How about you just go get the deal and take the credit? I really don't want to rain on your parade. But even if you manage to secure this deal, you're going to have to take some form of responsibility. Huh? R responsibility? Of course. You throw away the documents for a million dollar deal. You terminate Alan without consulting anyone. How could I leave you in a managerial position? Even if you don't have the documents, I'm sure the content is in your head, right? A man like you, elite and well-educated? I'm sure you'll be able to have a great presentation. Alan, please don't go. Please don't abandon me. I'm sorry. Huh? What are you sorry about? I don't know anything about the presentation. Sean, what the hell? This is an important job. How do you not know? What have you been doing at work? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Alan, can you do the presentation? I'm sorry, sir. I understand. Wait. I went by the garbage truck while he was in the bathroom and opened up my desk. What? Why didn't you tell us sooner, Alan? You shut up. Alan, continue. The printed documents were all wet and unusable, but I found a USB. Then why didn't you tell us? One reason is because all of the computers were updating, and I wasn't able to extract the file from the USB anyway. A second reason was that we still had some time till the meeting. The USB was fine, and we have 55 more minutes till the meeting. As long as the PC is restarted, it would be fine. The third reason is Mr. Sean. What? You still have more reasons? I wanted you to understand the suffering you put me through while I was on my honeymoon. If I just said, yep, I recovered a USB, you wouldn't thank me. You'd just be annoying as usual. Not at all. I saw a lot of potential in you and have been giving you a hard time to make sure you blossomed. If you value me that much, then how come you threw away my desk and fired me? I'm confused and not really understanding. Uh, that's just because you need a reality check. I need you to understand that I was for real. It's a form of love. They say a lion will throw their cubs to a herd of hyenas to make them stronger. That's exactly what this is. I see. That's exactly what I'm talking about as well. We've come this far and you're still not apologizing. You're just coming up with excuses. Even after I get married, I have to work hard and make money. For that, I needed you to really rethink your logic. There was no way that I would hold up without that. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm really sorry. You too, sir. I know I made you all worried. I'm sorry. Honestly, I don't care as long as I can have the meeting. I'm the one that showed up early anyway. You didn't do anything wrong, Alan. I agree. Right, guys? I'm pretty sure Sean is just completely in the wrong here. I honestly thought this guy was absolutely insane when he threw out the desk. Me too. It was disgusting too. Why? 
Why is everyone covering for Alan? You guys are probably just virtue signaling by trying to pretend like you care about this dropout. Get over yourselves. He's just good at kissing the CEO's ass. Why don't you understand that? How does he always end up there? Alan has constantly done nothing but great things, so he's a great worker. He's definitely not useless. If anything, he's doing much more than you are. Uh, shut up! What the hell do you all know? I work hard too! I work hard too! Ah, the computers are back up. Great. Alan, go recover the documents, please. Sir! Sean, I'm going to be figuring out what to do with you as soon as this meeting is done. What? Why? The documents were fine. We can just let it all go. Of course not. You fired him on a whim. You destroyed company property without permission. You then tried to cover it all up. You're running away from your responsibilities as an employee and manager. What company would let this fly? What CEO would leave this kind of employee alone? I I'm so sorry. You can't just be sorry. While Alan and I are working on this case together, you will get your affairs in order at your desk. But, but... Sean was bawling the whole time, while the CEO and I left for the meeting. After we finished our presentation, Sean was terminated, and this time, he threw away his own desk before leaving. <laughs> Talk about ironic, huh? Finding a new job in this job market? <laughs> Good luck. Last I saw, he was flipping burgers. I, on the other hand, was rewarded his old position as a manager as a sort of thank you for everything. I'm going to be having a child next year too. I'm gonna work so hard. Trouble Buster.